Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have another one sheet wonder stamping idea for you. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have a one sheet wonder card idea to share with you. So we're going to stamp one sheet of cardstock to create four different cards. Now, the cool thing about this one sheet wonder is that you can stamp it in either portrait style or landscape style. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now the cards feature the Daisy Garden stamp set from Stampin' Up! And they also feature one of the greetings or sentiments from the Inspired Thoughts stamp set. Now you can really use any stamp set or supplies you have on hand to create these cards. There's lots of possibilities. Okay, so the first thing we need for our One Sheet Wonder is a piece of cardstock which is cut at 10 and a half by eight. So this is very similar, the template is very similar to the One Sheet Wonder that I shared with you before. However, how we're going to stamp this is going to be different. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cardstock and you're gonna slide it into your paper trimmer at the four inch mark. And I'm gonna actually use the paper trimmer guide here to create my pencil line. So basically this line is the halfway point across this sheet of paper. So this is the template that we will use to create the landscape style cards. Okay, so let's start by creating the landscape style cards. So basically this is the piece of cardstock that has the kind of my guide, my little line here, right on the eight inch side, I put this line at four inches. And so we're gonna do our stamping right across this piece of cardstock and I'll show you how this works. So I'm gonna be using some early espresso ink for all of my stamping. And then I'm gonna be using this large daisy image. So I'm just gonna ink up my image. I'm gonna stamp right across the bottom and I'm gonna make sure that I don't go over this line. So you can go as close to the line or as far away from the line as you want. So the closer you are to the line, the less room you will have for stamping an image on here, a uh, greeting. Um, but I'm gonna go close to the top line and we'll put it right about here. And you're basically just going to stamp all the way across. So I'm gonna line this up again and stamp the image. And then we will stamp it one more time. Okay, so now we're just going to turn our paper and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom here. Okay, so as you can see, I stamped all the way across here on the bottom and I stayed below this little pencil mark that I have. And then I turned it and I stamped the images all the way across again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my watercolor pencils and I'm just gonna add some color to each of these images. So the nice thing about the watercolor pencils is you can just color directly over the ink that you're using. So in this case, I'm using that early espresso ink. That's what I use to do all my stamping. So I'm just using the white to add just a little bit of color and then I'm gonna use this Daffodil Delight Yellow just to add color to the center. And you can mix and match too if you wanna color some of your flowers yellow and some of them white, however you wanna do it. I like the look of the white on this crumb cake cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and color all of these in and then I will be back. Okay, so, so far I have colored one half of the sheet, but I just wanted to show you the difference. So this is what it looks like without the coloring, which it looks pretty that way. But when you add the little pops of white and that little bit of yellow in the center of each of the flowers, it just makes everything pop and it just looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna finish coloring the rest. Okay, so I have all the coloring done, so look how beautiful that is. I just love that look. So we are ready to cut this to create our cards. 
So cutting this is pretty simple. We're just gonna cut it in half on the eight inch side and then we're gonna cut it in half on the 10 and a half inch side. So we'll start with the eight inch side. So we're just gonna line it up at four inches. The edge over here is at four inches. And you're basically just gonna be cutting across your pencil line. So that will create two pieces that are 10 and a half inches long. So we're just gonna cut these in half. So we'll line it up at five and a quarter inches and we'll just cut these in half. And then these are the pieces that we will use on our cards. So there we go. Okay, so here are the pieces. So you can see from stamping all the way across, all I did was just cut it in half and now I have two little pieces to use on my cards. So we're gonna make four cards with these. Okay, so now we are ready to put the cards together. So we already have our pieces stamped and colored. Then you'll need four card bases. So I am using just the early espresso for my card base. And then you will also need some greetings. So I just stamped some greetings on some little rectangular shapes using the early espresso ink. So that's what I'm gonna use to put these cards together. So I like to put my cards together kind of in an assembly line fashion. So I'm gonna put all of these pieces on my card bases first. Because once you have everything stamped and cut and ready to go, it's pretty easy to do the assembly. And this just makes it go faster. So you might notice this time I'm not putting little doilies on the top of my cards, just because I stamped the images kind of closer to that line. So I thought I would decorate these just a little bit differently. All right, so here are all the card bases. And now we can go ahead and we can add our little greetings. So I like to add them to kind of cover up, you know, some of the spots maybe that I didn't color. So I'm gonna add that right there. See, this is kind of like a little open space on the card and that way you can still see the ones I did color and it just kind of covers up that one lonely bud there. <laughs> so we'll put that on there. And then this last one. So here are the four cards. Aren't they beautiful? Now, the other thing I did is I decorated the inside of the cards. So I'm gonna open all these up and I created a little insert for the inside of all these cards. So we'll adhere these right away. So what I did is I just stamped part of the image on the left side of a four by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. And so this is gonna go on the inside of the card. And of course it matches the outside of the card, so it looks just gorgeous. So let's go ahead and put all of these on the inside of the card. All right, so here are the cards. This is the outside, and then just a fun little inside decorating idea. So they turn out absolutely gorgeous, and then of course you can embellish them with anything you want. I'm gonna add a couple little pearls to this, and that's it. Now if you want to stamp your greeting directly on the cardstock, just stamp your little daisy images down a little bit from that top line, and you'll be able to add your greeting or sentiment on the front. Okay, let me show you how to make the portrait style. Now, if you wanna create the portrait style cards, then you're just going to turn your cardstock to the 10 and a half inch side, and we're gonna line it up at five and a quarter inches. And this time, I'm gonna place my pencil mark across the center here at five and a quarter inches. So that's gonna be my line for creating the portrait style cards. So for this card, what we're gonna do is we're going to stamp along this direction. So we're gonna be using more of the stamped image. And then we'll ink up this large daisy image just using the same ink. So I'm using that early espresso ink. And this time we're gonna stamp this up farther, but we're still gonna stay below that pencil line that I made. And this time we only have to stamp it twice 
Whereas before, with the landscape style, we had to stamp it three times. All right, so that's what it looks like on the one side. Then we'll just turn the other side and we'll do the same thing on the bottom here. Okay, so now we are ready to add our color. So I'm gonna go color this and I'll be right back. All right, so here is what everything looks like colored. Again, I used the white and the yellow of the watercolor pencils and this is crumb cake cardstock, so it's just gorgeous. All right, so we are ready to cut this up now. So the first thing we will do is we will just cut down this pencil line. So just line it up at five and a quarter inches and that should be your pencil line. And then just make the cut. So you will end up with two pieces here that are five and a quarter inches wide and now we're gonna cut them down to four inches. So we want five and a quarter by four. So we'll just cut this right here at four inches. And then you have just a beautiful little decoration for your card. So it's four inches by five and a quarter. And then we have the other piece here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll just cut this one down to four. And then we have another piece. Okay, so here are the pieces that we have to create our cards. So basically they're just four inches by five and a quarter inches, each piece is. And so we are ready to do the assembly. So again, I have four pieces of early espresso cardstock for the base of my card. And then I have the pieces we stamped and cut already. And then of course I have some more greetings that I stamped on these little stitched rectangular shapes. All right, so let's go ahead and create these. So again, I'm just gonna adhere all of these pieces to the card bases first. Okay, so I have all the cards adhered together here. So now we are ready to put on all the greetings. So this time I'm gonna put the greetings down towards the bottom. So probably off to the side a little bit. So it's kind of in between these daisies down here on the bottom. And each piece is fairly similar, so it should be pretty close to the same spot on each piece. But you can mix and match your little greetings here. You can put them in different spots on your card if you want to make them each just a little bit different. But I'm gonna make all of mine the same. So there we go. So that's what our cards look like. And then okay, so I have finished assembling the cards. So I assembled everything on the front and then I just added some pearls just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And then on the inside, I added my little piece of crumb cake cardstock and I just stamped a partial image down here of those daisies and then just colored it in the same way that I did on the front of the card. All right, so that is the portrait style. All right, so here you go. These are the two different style cards. So you have your landscape style and your portrait style. Basically, I created them the exact same way. The only difference is the way in which I stamped the cardstock. So the cards are super fun and they're very easy to do. So I hope this little demonstration inspires you to pull out your stamp sets and create some one sheet wonder cards today. Okay, so there you go. Now you have a one sheet wonder template that you can use to create cards in either portrait or landscape style. And you will be able to create four cards from every one sheet wonder. So how cool is that? And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.